There has been so many technical difficulties going on. Um, so unfortunately, I was not able to show how this was made, but Today we are going to be embedding shapes into cold process soap and I thought it would be fun to embed a moon into sort of like a stormy seas type of theme. Um, and what fragrance isn't more perfect for that than Nature's Fragrances Stormwatch Fragrance Oil. So. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, was not able to get how I made this column of soup um, captured on film, but I do have another one and I'll show you how it was done. So you have this column mold here and what you'll want to do is you'll want to either make cold process soap or melt and pour soap. You'll pour it into the column mold and then once the soap is set up, you can go ahead and unmold it. Um, also another thing, I have my column mold in a little vase here to keep it standing upright, but you can use a tall cup or a mason jar or anything like that to keep the mold upright. But I will unmold this second column of soap that I made. And it's really easy, just peel the mold away. And then what you're left with is a column of soap that will embed into a larger um, loaf of soap. So from here, I just need to get the embed itself uh, measured out to fit into the mold. So we'll take the mold that we're going to use and just set it on its side like so, or set it upright. And you'll just want to measure that out. This one actually looks perfect. Might need a little bit of trimming. So let's see how this one fits. Just a little bit too long. So I'm going to trim a tiny edge of this off. And again, just fit it into the mold. There we go. That looks perfect. Okay, so we have got what will be a moon over a stormy seas type of theme. So next, let's get to making some cold process soap that we can embed this soap into. I'll see you back then. All right, so it's time to make some soap. I have my soap making oils. They're all melted down and combined in this pot. I've got my aloe juice Tessa Silk Blend uh, Lye Solution that is at room temperature now. And everything's ready. Colorants are mixed up. We've got the fragrance oil all mixed up with some kaolin clay as well. Oh, it smells fantastic. So if you have never soaked with um, Nature's Fragrance Stormwatch Fragrance Oil, you're in for a treat because this is awesome. Um, this is one of those fragrances that I liked out of the bottle and loved in application. Um, so i would had a few different um, sample soaps or test batches that I had done, and I kept going back into my curing room, and this one specific soap just kept calling to me over and over, and every time I'd pick it up, I'd smell it, and I'd think, oh my gosh, this is so good. You know, which, which one is this? And every time I looked, without fail, it was Stormwatch. So it's just one of those fragrances that it just smells so fresh and clean and ozone-y out of the bottle, but just really develops into something just amazing in application. And it's just, it's potent and beautiful. And like I said, it's just perfectly named in that you can smell ozone-y and fresh and clean and um, sort of like a clean air kind of vibe. So this is just absolutely perfect for our theme, which once again, we've got, I'm gonna do a, like a stormy, stormy seas type of theme where I'm gonna be doing layers of um, colors that kind of go with like a stormy sea type of theme. And then we're going to embed a moon into that 
And then on top, when I pipe the top, I've got these little uh, seashell embeds and then anchor embeds that I'm going to put on top as well. So I think it's going to look really, really fun. So let's get to making some soap. So first things first is to add our sodium lactate to our cooled lye solution. I'll get that mixed in right now. Okay, and now we're going to add the lye solution to the melted oils. Just gonna get this stirred in and incorporated a little bit before I start stick blending. Now, to do layers, we do want to work with a thicker trace, but for right now, I'm just gonna blend this to a light trace, and then I'll split it off so that we can color off the portions and add the fragrance oil to our portions as well. So I have stick blended till just past emulsion. So now let's get this split off. We're gonna have four different layers in the soap itself. Then we're gonna embed that moon into there. And then for the top, the top will be kind of like, um, like gray storm clouds type, type of look. So I'm just gonna split this off into four eyeball equal portions. Okay, so I've got my four portions all divided equally, and now let's get them colored. For the first one, I'm gonna use this Klein Blue Mica. Just a nice, deep, dark, royal blue. And the next layer is going to be this preppy blue mica. Third layer is going to be this mica called celestial silver. <clears throat> and the final layer is going to be this color called sea green. Okay, so all my layers are now colored. Everything's perfect. I'm going to set the last three layers off to the side and we're just going to work layer by layer. So this first layer here, we're gonna work with the Klein Blue. And I'm going to add about a fourth of my uh, fragrance oil to the Klein Blue. Just gonna give it another mix up with my um, mini mixer here and get that kaolin clay up off the bottom. Oh, it smells wonderful. If you think this smells good out of the bottle, just wait until you get it in soap. It's so good in soap. So a fourth of the fragrance oil is in the Klein Blue portion of our soap. I'm just going to get that stirred in really, really well. And since last I remembered, this fragrance oil behaves really well in cold process soap. I'll probably have to stick blend uh, these layers too to get them to the consistency, the thicker consistency that. So I'll go ahead, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to stick blend this till it gets to a little bit of a thicker trace. Now that we're at a thicker trace with this uh, first blue layer, I'm going to go ahead and get it poured now in the mold. And just give this a good tap. Get all those air bubbles out. And now I'm just gonna take a spoon here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of texture into this layer. Kind of make it look like ocean waves. Everything's looking good, on to the next layer. Next layer is this preppy blue portion. It's like a silvery grayish blue, really pretty. 
definitely reminds me of a stormy ocean type of color. Get more of the fragrance oil mixed and in. And then we'll hit it with the stick blender for a couple seconds just to thicken up that trace a little bit. Everything's looking good with this thickening up nicely. So we'll go ahead and get this poured over the darkest blue portion. And to break that fall, we'll pour it over the spatula. I'm going to give this a gentle pat, get out air bubbles. And again, we'll take that spoon and just smooth it out and then add some texture too. So again, I'm going to put some waves into this next layer. Beautiful. Now on to the third layer. So our third layer is this celestial silver. We'll get the fragrance oil added to that. And this also looks like it might need just a little hit with the stick blender to get it to just a touch thicker trace. Okay, now it's time to pour our third layer. Get the mold back over here. And we'll use the spatula to break the fall again. Just going to give this a little shake to get those air bubbles out. And this is also where I want to embed the moon. Now this layer also needs to be able to hold that embed up. So it can't be too thin when we place the embed in there, otherwise it'll just sink on down into the bottom. But a little bit of sinking so that half of the moon is kind of in this layer and then the top half of it is in our last layer, that would be perfect. So I'm just gonna get this ready. I'm going to put in a little bit of texture. And now I'm going to take the column of soap that we made earlier with the column mold and I'm just going to place that down in there. And just gently, it'll displace a little bit of the soap that's normal and totally fine. All right, that actually looks perfect. So from here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of texture around the embed itself.
and this is looking perfect. So let's go ahead and get the last layer on top of this. And our last layer is this um, sea green. And since it is the last layer, it's um, thickening up a little bit, which is perfect. So we'll get the last of the fragrance oil mixed into this layer. Now since this is the last layer before we pipe the top, I don't think I need to um, stick blend it to a thicker trace. And in fact, I kind of want it to be a little more fluid than the others were so that it'll just really fill in like um, won't leave any air pockets or anything around this embed here. So I am going to get this poured while it's still pretty fluid or a lot more fluid than the other layers were. And then I'll wait for that to set up a little bit and then I'll put a little bit of texture on top of this one too. But yeah, for right now, no stick blending needed. This is at the perfect consistency to get it poured on top. This is just such a well-behaving fragrance oil, too. It really does what I want it to do. It thickens up when I want it to thicken up. It stays fluid when I want it to stay fluid. And I don't know if I mentioned this already. I think I did, but it smells so good. It smells so good. It behaves amazing, and it smells amazing. So this is a Soper Stream fragrance right here. All right, last layer, I'm gonna break that fall. I'm gonna pour it right over the embed so that it just really fills in any nooks and crannies around that embed. See a nook, there we go. Perfect. So very gently, so I don't displace that embed, I'm just going to smooth out this top a little bit. And then from here, I'm just going to let this set up just a little bit, and then I'll put a little bit of texture on top of this layer too. And then I'll bring you back for when we pipe the top and we put our storm clouds on. Okay, the top of our soap has set up, so now it's time to pipe the top and put some gray storm clouds on top of this. It's smelling absolutely incredible. I can smell it throughout my whole kitchen. And I think this is just the absolute perfect fragrance for this theme. I'm so excited to get it cut open tomorrow and see what it's going to look like on the inside. So for my soap frosting, I've got my combined melted down oils here. I've got my lye solution here. I have got an ounce of uh, Stormwatch fragrance oil set aside here and I've got my colorant which is a mix of um, sterling silver mica uh, equal parts mixed with um, winter white mica. So let's get started. First things first, I'll add the color directly to the batch oils. And the fragrance oil as well. Get those added in there. Or get that added in there. And then just stir to get this nice and incorporated into those oils. Okay, I've got the mica and the fragrance oil all blended in with the batch oils. Everything is at room temperature, so it's time to add the lye solution. I've added my lye solution, so now I'm just going to get everything stirred in a little bit just to incorporate it. And then I'll hit it with my stick blender and get it blended to trace and then let it set up on its own until it reaches the perfect piping consistency. So our soap is setting up very nicely. I'll get it poured into my piping bag now. <laughs> All right, 
it's time to pipe some storm clouds on the top of this stove. Well, the camera fell right on top of my piping, so that's cool. I'm so excited about that. I have no idea how to fix that, but I'm going to try. Well, the camera fell on the top of my soap, so it's totally awesome. Um, and I didn't have any soap frosting left to cover it up or anything like that. So. There's a side of the soap that's just completely ruined, but I guess that will be um, my bar that I'll just set aside for me. But with the rest of it not looking like crap, here, we'll just turn it on the side that doesn't look like a camera fell on it. Um, let's get the... Um, some glitter put on this. So I'm just going to spray some blue Enigma Mica just to give it some sparkle. Okay, so I have spritzed a little bit of blue Enigma Mica. I don't know if the camera's really picking that up, but it just added kind of like a blue metallic-y sheen to the top of the soap, so it's looking really cool. And now I'm gonna place my embeds on top and what I did with that is I just made these little anchors here and those will go on the top and then I've also got uh, some shells too that will go on either side so I've got the little snell shells and the little conch shells um, but I'm going to place the embeds on top and then I'll bring you back when it's all finished and show you what it looks all like. All right, so we are all done. The top of the soap is piped. We've got the little anchors on top, the seashell on one or either side of the loaf, and it's looking um, very oceanic and aquatic, and it's smelling just... Uh, it smells amazing. So I sprayed the top of this soap with a little bit of 91% rubbing alcohol to help prevent soda ash. I'm going to get this insulated and I'll bring you guys back in about 18-24 hours and we'll see what it looks like on the inside. But so far it's looking good and it's smelling incredible. So I'll see you guys back tomorrow. Well, we're back the next day to cut the um, soap that we made yesterday. It is the um, Nightfall on Stormy Seas soap. I already cut off the first end piece, and even the end piece that I'll cut up and use for free samples just looks absolutely amazing. So we've got the um, darker blue layer down here, then kind of like a silvery blue, more of like a silvery blue with a little bit of purple it looks like, and then the um, uh, sea green on top with our little Storm And then clouds. we have our little moon right in the middle. So let's get that first official cut. It 
And there it is. Looking awesome. So we've got all our layers again. That beautiful moon embed. And then our embeds on the top, which is our anchors and our two shells on either side. And then just a little bit of like a aqua blue sheen on top as well. So this turned out really, really great. And as you can see, um, it's quite easy to, to embed shapes. And there's all kinds of shapes that you can embed into your soapy projects. So um, yeah, give it a try and just see how much fun it is. But, um, and also keep in mind that you can do any design that you'd like. You don't have to stick with layers. You can do in the pot swirls and drop swirls and anything that you would like with your embed, uh, embedded shapes in your soap. So, just a really fun, easy way to add just a really cool effect into your soaps. But thank you so, so much for watching this video. Hopefully um, you were able to find just something helpful or at least entertaining from it. And the fragrance itself, oh, I just, I love this in application. You really have to try this in application. If you've smelled it out of the bottle and you loved it, try it in soap and tell me it just doesn't transform into something so amazing. It's such an incredible fragrance oil. It's perfect for our theme. So again, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to try this incredible fragrance oil in your own soapy creations at home, make sure to visit www.naturesfragrance.com. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.